Hey Natasha, can you be my virtual girlfriend for this YouTube video? <laughs> sure, Sahil. <laughs> it seems funny, but I can do it for your YouTube video. Thanks, man, but I want to ask one thing. Can I go to Thailand with my boys before we start this relationship? Thailand. <laughs> you can go. I am not like other possessive chicks. Cool. Welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I'll show you how to create a virtual girlfriend. Yes. Okay, so let's jump into the code. First we'll start with writing the basic script to use Bark. So what is Bark? Bark was the library I was using to generate those amazing natural audios. So I'll take to their GitHub page first. So this is an open source project and this is their GitHub page. Let's see. Bark is a transformer based text to audio model created by Suno. Okay. Now it has some really cool features. Let's play one of the examples. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion barks tonight. In the jungle. So you can generate music out of it. Okay. It's quite cool it has more than 100 plus speakers supported okay and finally you can do some cool things if you mention these things in your text you can add laughter laugh size i was amazed to see that it was free and open source so it's a really cool project do use it in your code let's come back to code the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the bark library and once we have installed this, we need to import few things before we start the code. First thing is few things from Bark that is preload models, generate audio and sample rate. I'll explain how we will use them in the code itself. Second thing we need to import is write wrap. This will be used to write the audio file that we get from Bark to our sample directory in the notebook over here as you can see. And the third thing is audio which we will use to play the audio in this notebook itself okay let's start with preload model so what it will do is it will install all the dependencies that bark needs all the speakers so it will take a lot of time because bark has a lot of speakers and a lot of dependencies which it needs before generating the audio okay so this code will take time i have already ran it let's move to the next code next thing we need to do is write a text prompt which will be converted to the audio okay subscribe to my youtube channel and instead of please i'll add a laugh over here then we'll use generate audio function which we imported from bark itself and we need to pass two parameters first is the text prompt which we wrote and second is the speaker type okay i'm passing speaker 9 which is a voice of a woman i can also make it Five. let's go with five and let's run it so as you can see it took 42 seconds to generate this audio so it's a heavy operation which requires a gpu instead of a cpu so if you are running it on local with a cpu then it may take hours so if you are running in a notebook i would suggest go to runtime and change the runtime type to gpu okay this will save a lot of time and help the code build faster okay now once you're done with this let's write this audio file to our directory so it will generate something like bark underscore generation dot wav in your directory over here next thing we're going to do is we're going to play this audio in this notebook itself subscribe my youtube channel <laughs> okay i loved the laugh in the end so yeah that is this simple to import bark library and generate these natural audios so let's move to the next part of the code that is using openai so first we'll install openai using pip install openai and import openai and import os then first thing we need to do is we need a key for OpenAI. To get the key, just go to OpenAI portal.
over here first thing you need to do is over here go to the developer api reference when you come here it will ask you to sign up or login once you log in it will give you some free credits and you can view the api key from here so this is where you can copy the api key from okay now let's go back coming back to the code first thing you need to do is copy paste your api key which you got from that portal and second thing we'll try to generate a response from the question we asked to the llm okay you need to pass two parameter to, to this function that is first is the model that we will use text davinci 003 which is very powerful model and then you need to pass a prompt if you need to know more about this i have made another video in my last video i explained it in much depth how to use openai so i already ran this now let's try to print the response Ruby, I am practicing my magic, sir. Nice. Okay, so it is as simple as this to use OpenAI. Let's move to the next part of the code. So before moving to final part of the script, that is using OpenAI plus Bark plus Gradio, I'll explain how things will work. So I'll record my audio in the microphone. It will be converted to text. This text will be passed to OpenAI, which will generate a response. And this response will be passed to Bark, which will generate an audio, and finally we'll output this audio using Gradio. Okay, so first thing we need to do is install Gradio. So Gradio is nothing but a library which will help us build the UI I showed you. Okay, that UI was not built using HTML, CSS, but Gradio automatically made all these things. Like I could automatically record my audio using microphone just using radio functions second thing we need to install is transformers library so this will be used to convert the recorded audio into the text okay so we'll import gr and pipeline from this and finally using that pipeline we'll get an object for automatic speech recognition which will help us convert the audio into the text next thing we need to do is build this transcribe function we pass this function in the Gradio library. So what it does is it gets an audio file which got recorded from our microphone and finally we convert it into text using the pipeline we got from automatic speech recognition. And once we have the text, we pass it to OpenAI, use the LLM model text DaVinci 003. And finally, once we get the response, we pass it to Bark which generates an audio array which I showed you above. Now once we have that audio array, we'll write that audio array into the directory and return this audio array into the UI and also the text. So Gradio interface takes three things. First is transcribe function that we made. Second thing is audio source that is microphone and type is file path. And third thing is what is the output returned from this transcribe function and output variables we have already mentioned over here that is one is text box and second is audio okay this will be displayed on the ui screen so we'll have three things on your screen one is input that is the microphone screen and the other two things will be audio and text box so let's build this so yep building this and we finally got the local host let's Go to it and see how it, it works. Let's see what the output is. Let's uh, let's click to the record button and ask. Let's ask something. Hey, hey, how are you? It is taking a lot of time. I'm doing well. She said I'm doing well. Yep. So she's doing well. I'm doing well. Please subscribe to my channel and please support. Thanks. Bye.